was at the zoo with Andrew and he fell into the lion exhibit! You know I have a doorbell for a reason? <laughs> We must have somehow been sucked into a magic TV. Okay, so then how do we get out of a TV? All right, get in. I'll go, but if my foot gets stuck in there, you gotta help me out. <clears throat> We're back in my house! No, I didn't step into the portal. I think the scene just changed. You're right. Someone must be keeping us away from that portal. Ah! He must be controlling all this with that book. Oh, but, but, but how? I thought I got rid of it. It doesn't matter. We need to get our hands back on that book. I've gotta get in there and put a stop to this. I'm a genius! You figured out a way to get the book from Mulligan? What? No. But two of my theories were correct. Mulligan has the magic book, and he used the book to trap us in a magic TV. Who cares about your theories? We're in a crisis here. We need a plan to stop Mulligan. Wait. What? Do you think Mulligan is a witch? Ryan? I need you to focus! All right, all right. What were the rules of the book again? Anything you write will happen. Whoever holds the book is its owner. And whenever the book changes owners, everything gets undone. Okay, so it's easy. We just have to set a trap for Mulligan like we did for Grandpa. Then we'll take the book and we won't have to be stuck with this stupid laugh track. I don't think it's gonna be that easy. Mulligan is watching everything. He controls the whole show. That is correct. I am always watching you. <gasps> Mulligan? How did you get the book? Why are you doing this? My name is Grandpa and you will address me correctly. No! You're Mr. Mulligan and you're insane! Let us out! Oh, you want out, don't you? Let me make this clear. You guys are gonna spend the rest of your lives stuck in this TV show. It has always been my dream to be a star actor and you're not gonna take that away from me. That's it. I'm gonna handle Mulligan myself. <laughs> I'm sorry. Were you gonna do something? <gasps> Didn't think so. Remember, this book makes me a god. I could kill you right now. Wait, but I'm gonna give you guys one more chance. Play your roles properly and nobody gets hurt. Now the two of you are gonna sit this episode out and get your act together. I've gotta stop laughing like that. Seriously, I'm gonna choke one of these days. In. Great. Now what? All right. I've waited all week for the new episode of the show so I could jump in and get that book. Now, according to Anthony and Ryan, the portal is the toilet. So all I gotta do is wait for another scene of the toilet and then theoretically I can jump into the TV! Wait, what if there are no scenes of the toilet? Huh. I need a new plan. <laughs> Anthony, you've been trying to open that door for the last hour. Well, what else are we supposed to do? I think I know a way we can get out of here. Come over here. Okay, jump out. No, I'm not jumping out of the window. Just hear me out. Remember how every time we tried to go outside, we would just come back in through a different door? Yeah. Well, I'm thinking maybe if we jump out your window, we'll just come back in through your bedroom door. Okay, and what if that doesn't happen and we fall to our deaths? That is a chance that you are willing to take. Me? So you're not gonna jump? Well, duh, there's no reason for both of us to do it if only one of us has to unlock the door. Okay, well then you should jump. You're the more athletic one. You have a better chance of survival. All right, fine. We'll test it with this quarter. I'll just throw it out the window and we'll see if it comes back and hits the door. Did it work? I don't know. Why don't you take a look and see if you can see it? Uh, I, I don't see anything. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, no, that's just a rock. Oh. Keep looking. I'm sure you'll find it. Okay, uh, what kind of a coin was it again? Oh, wait, wait, Ryan, what are you doing? Ryan, Ryan, no! Oh! Oh! It worked! Not in the way I was expecting. But it worked! Yeah, yeah. It worked all right! Uh. All right, it's time to go stop Mulligan. Yeah! Just gonna have to give me like five minutes. Thanks for getting my foot out of the toilet. Well, yeah, they don't pay me for nothing. I guess Anthony didn't care enough to help out. He's the worst son. Next time I see him, I'm gonna teach him a lesson. I gotta go find that brick. No! Yeah, I've got nothing, no. Mm. Man, his foot was really deep in that toilet. Makes me wonder if there really is a whole nother world in there. What is that? Not my chance! Bring me in! Ah, something's got my arm! Oh. Oh. Ah. Hi! Who are you? And why are you not wet? It's me, Grandpa! Oh, thank goodness you're safe. Hey, get back! You're not my grandpa. He is. Oh, you gotta listen to me. You've been put under a spell by the man that you keep calling Grandpa. He's a lunatic! My grandpa taught me to never trust strange men that come out of the toilet. I'm the one who taught you that! It was the first words I ever said to you! 
Which is actually kind of awkward because now I'm asking you to trust me who just came out of a toilet and I'm quite strange, but just trust me this one time! Get out of this house. <sighs> All right, I'll go. So there I was at the water park, rubbing myself with mustard when I realized that this show's ratings would skyrocket if I would just take my shirt off. So why don't you? <sighs> because my producer says the show is family friendly. I think it's time we become PG-13. But sir, you are the producer. Don't you have all the power? Ha! Huh, you're right! The shirt's coming off! Please don't. This show is already bad enough. <laughs> Where are you, you sorry sack of bones? I don't know how you got in here, but I'm gonna make you regret it. Oh, you're gonna make me regret it? You mean the same way that your mother regrets on you? <sighs> you better watch yourself. You don't understand the power I have. No, trust me. I do. <sighs> you know, when I first got this book, I was gonna use it to kill you. But then I realized that using it to make you watch a TV show where I take over your life is so much better. Yeah, it is great. The fact that you'd rather be me than yourself really says a lot. <sighs> Say goodbye, old man. Hey, what up, Mulligan? What? <sighs> Voice impression. It's kind of my thing. <sighs> I gave you another chance. But now it looks like it's time for you to be killed off. Ah! Get that book! Uh, did he just die? Why did he think that eating the page was a good idea? He must have known he couldn't keep the book from us, so he ate it to stay the owner. Well, that seems to have backfired on him. Now we just have to grab the book and- <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, this is bad. All of my theories were correct now! He's a witch! Technically, I'm a wizard. Close enough! That's what you're concerned about? I've become a true god now. The most powerful being in the world! Looks like we're gonna have to fight. I think we're gonna lose. You left me in the lion habitat! You recasted Andrew? What? I had to! He would have taken the spotlight away from me! I feel you on that one. <laughs> Well, I guess it's up to me. You never help me when I get my foot stuck in the toilet. Now you get the brick. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> well, now I'm just standing here. That's enough, Mulligan. Hand over that book. Oh, I am gonna enjoy this. Would you stand still? Just want to hit you with this brick. Uh, no, Dad, listen, you're being controlled by Mulligan. Nice try, but you're getting hit with this brick one way or another. Wait! Oh, what? <laughs> what are you doing? I thought this would snap you out of it. It worked on Ryan. Now I'm gonna hit with this brick twice as hard. Oh, wait, no, no, wait, wait. Um, just watch this dance first. Would you just stand still? Uh, got your nose! Hey! Give me that back! Why are we in the living room? And why do I have a sword? To defend yourself against the ultimate weapon. That's a plunger. I know. <laughs> Seth, Mulligan trapped us in a magic TV. He's got the book and he's controlling everything. <laughs> I'm not Seth, I'm Andrew. <laughs> no, you're not. You're Seth. Liar. Brian, get the book. I'm kind of in the middle of something here. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, hold on. You ate a page of the book? This, this is correct. correct. I did not plan for this. Yeah, so anyway, time to say bye-bye. Oh boy. Plunger. No, enough of that. You demon. Justice has been served. Yeah, that, that was a bad casting choice. Flavor sandwich? I thought you were gonna kill me! Worse! 
I'm gonna eat you. Okay, now that's just disturbing. Now what? Ah, dang it, I missed! I'm still not Wait! Now's my chance! Okay! Mulligan dies! What? Didn't it work? I thought I told you to leave this house. I can't let you hurt Grandpa. Grandpa? I get it now! Christopher! Don't you remember? It's me! I was the first person that you saw when you were born! Oh! Look at you. You're never gonna believe what just happened to me. But just remember these words. Never, and I mean never, trust a strange man that comes out of the toilet. On the bright side, you're only about five seconds old and you're already better looking than the other one. Wait, I remember everything now. You really are Grandpa. Okay, really, what are you doing? You can just move out of the way. Stop ruining my moment. <laughs> you know, this is getting a little too weird for me. I'm just gonna go put my foot back in the toilet. <laughs> that was my favorite grandson. You're gonna pay for this. It doesn't matter. You can't stop me with that book, because I'm also the owner! I've become too powerful! Sonny, there are some things that only a grandpa can do. Don't say I never did anything for you. Oh, grandpa, wait, no! Grandpa dies! Ah! I'm back? And we didn't have to go through the toilet. I've got the book. We have to get rid of that thing once and for all. No, I tried that last time. It doesn't work. It just came right back. And it got into the wrong hands. We have to keep it here, locked away, where no one can touch it. Oh, you should keep it in the safe that's in your closet. You know, the one that has- up, 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 up. Shh. It's a safe for a reason. We swore to never speak about it. You're right. But you know, there's still one thing that bothers me. Why do all these strange and mystical things happen around you? You know what? I don't know, and I don't care. Well, I'm gonna figure it out. Hey, what's up, you guys? Thank you so much for watching. If you wanna check out some bloopers and behind the scenes for this video, you can click the link in the description down below or the link at the top box on screen. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give this video a like, leave a comment letting us know what you thought, and subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss when we post new videos. Follow us on Instagram at culture35 and on TikTok at realculture35 for some extra bonus content, and that's about it. Thank you guys again so much for watching. We will see you very soon with a brand new video. Bye, guys.